Coach, you have split as well. Uh, tell us what had to have happened to go ahead and get that second win against Kingsville after walking into that. Um, well, just uh, we had to refocus. You know, like we had to move on. And there's some things that we can learn from the international game a lot, actually. Um, I thought we played better in the second half. Um, and I think uh, the pressure really got to us uh, in the first quarter. And I think us not being ready in the first quarter at the very beginning of the game um, really falls on me. You know, we had a long time to prepare for them. And so I need to do a better job simulating uh, better pressure in practice. And I think we made some in-game adjustments um, that helped us have an opportunity to make a good comeback. But, I, I mean, if we've got to be ready from, from the jump, and I don't think we were. Um, I think we definitely were on Kingsville. We got refocused. We had a really good prep, really good uh, preparation. The girls were really locked in and, and really determined after, you know, starting the conference on a loss that uh, we knew we, we can't go on two. So coming out with a lot of confidence and um, really understanding our, our game plan and, you know, our, our players really executed well at a high level for, for 40 minutes for the most part. So I think just getting reset and then knowing what we have to do in front of us and the goal this week is is to go two and zero, but we got to start with Oklahoma Christian and make sure we're prepared for them. Does it have, uh, how does it feel to have a team that is uh, very resilient and uh, ready to bounce back? I think it's a testament to our players. Um, all of them are are just winners, and they're very very determined. But I think it also has to do with our maturity and our experience. Um, I think we have very uh, strong willed players that that are just competitive and want to play for each other. So. Um, it makes our job as coaches easier, I guess, that you don't have to coach that because you really can't, um, long term at least. Um, but they know what's at stake and they have some set some pretty high goals. Um, and so I think that's what they focused on, you know, to make sure they got the win on, on Saturday against Kingsville. But these two had a remarkable week. Um, Cam shot 65% from the field, led us in scoring. Q had two big double-doubles. Um, 18 boards is just amazing, uh, and that's what she grabbed Saturday. She actually had more offensive rebounds than the entire Kingsville team. So um, she was working. But I think, you know, for 40 minutes, that's, that may be our best basketball that we've played thus far. Um, hopefully we can carry that into this week. What are you guys seeing from Oklahoma Christian as you're looking at the film, getting ready to play them? They're a really good team. So they open with LCU and WT, which are – you know, powerhouses in the Lone Star and uh, gave LCU a run, lost them by four, and then had the best win in probably program history, beat WT by 22 points. So um, they're, they're a really, really good team, um, and we'll start our prep on them today. Um, but they have added a lot of pieces. So, um, you know, I think it'll be a very competitive game. They're coming in with a lot of confidence, as they should, um, and we're, we're coming into the week with a lot of confidence. So it should be a fun game to watch, um, but they'll, you know, they'll – They'll be ready. As long as these two are going and our point guards uh, have it, I feel like the rest of the team just kind of rises up. So a lot of weight on their shoulders, but I think they're ready for the load. Coach, we've seen the coach to coach Cohen, you know, both programs have had these awards in the four years. Both the programs are having a very successful season. I think he said it. We'd love to be 7-0, and you know. <laughs> um, but I think both programs, when you, when you have, you know, two good basketball teams, um, you do kind of feed off each other. You know, we're rooting for them. They're rooting for us. And it's exciting to watch. And I've sat in on a lot of his practices and definitely watched a lot of his games. And those guys are competitors and they're together and they're a team. And to be able to do that with so many new players, you know, hats off to them, a lot of respect. And um, we're rooting for them. And uh, our girls wanted to stay for, you know, to make sure we rooted them all into the Kingsville win. Um, and they're, they're a fun group uh, and they're very supportive. So we appreciate them and, Hopefully we can win the first one and they'll follow it. Uh, as long as we win the first one, it seems like we lost. They lost the team you. We won. They won. So uh, we want to start a right for them and just support them in every way. But really amazing job that what their coaches have done with a brand new team. And they're playing so hard. They're, they're playing very, very well, especially on the defensive end. What does it mean to you guys to be uh, – you've been on the road a lot. What does it mean for that to leave the rest of December? You guys are going to be right here. We love being at home. You know, right now, uh, this is an undefeated place for us, and we plan to keep it that way the rest of the year. So, um, to have our our support here is amazing. You know, we were here over Thanksgiving break. There weren't students, but the gym was packed. 
So hopefully we can just pack it even more with our students and and community members. But to be at home, to shoot on the goals that we shoot on, to be in the same gym, to have our routine down, to sleep in our own beds is awesome. But I think the biggest thing is that we have people, you know, in the stands cheering us on and, and rooting for us. Well, let's just you are uh, this is double double. Uh, uh, honestly, I'd say my coaching staff, just because I wouldn't be here without them, like, putting in all the work that they have me do, and, like, it just shows that I'm working hard for them, and I just want to prove to them that I'm going to work hard no matter what.